All right, I can almost guarantee Valkyrie have this, so we're going to try for the Valkyrie here and just see what happens. There we go. Charging in. Oh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs>How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to the Battlefields of Tabs. Today we are starting off with another mod showcase. This one isn't a unit though, it's actually a new feature that's going to be pretty cool into this game I think. If you haven't noticed, we have blue units on the red side. So yes, this is a mod that allows you to put blue units on the red side and red units on the blue side so you can basically choose wherever you want the battle to happen. And I gotta say, this is something I wanted for a long time because there's a lot of really cool maps like this one where we can make some pretty interesting fights if we didn't have this line in the middle of the battlefield. So obviously what we're gonna try and do now, we have the medieval and ancient factions working together to hold down their kingdom and I think we're gonna pit them off against the Vikings because that just seems accurate. So what we're working with right now is 121 strategically placed units all around the fortress here. They're very hard to see, but there's 121 of them there, mostly archers, obviously, uh, because we do have the high ground, and if we didn't use archers, we'd be pretty dumb. Now let's get to the Viking placements. Now one thing about this mod is it still is in the directions of the uh, the battle, so you can't actually rotate anything. So for example, if we put down a red unit here, it's going to think it's in the red area and try and attack to the left side of the map. So hopefully these guys can turn around relatively quickly. Uh, because obviously we don't want these guys uh, wasting too much time down here. So we got uh, the long ships coming in. That's 4,000 right there. It's actually going to be hard to get this many units. Now we definitely want some Valkyrie coming in because being that we have to get to the high ground as quickly as possible, I think the Valkyrie is going to be one of the best units to deal with this. So let's get some Valkyrie out here and... Uh, brawlers in the front for sure. So yeah, we're just gonna place these units. Now if I hold a button, I can do this really quickly too, so this is nice. We're gonna have a lot of brawlers here. Actually, that's way too many brawlers. I didn't realize they were that expensive. We, uh, we want to keep the gold about the same. Obviously, the, the kingdom has the high ground though, so we might want to make the Vikings a little bit more stronger. Alright, Berserkers. Definitely gonna get some Berserkers over here. We need a Jarl in the middle kind of as the king as well, because we do have a king. I believe I put a king up here with his merry men beside him. So yes, uh, we gotta have a king of the Vikings as well, and that's definitely gonna be Jarl. Probably smart to get some ice archers as well, so we'll do that, and we're at 19,000. We're gonna get about 25 grand, I think. That should make it a little easy. Let's get uh, strength in numbers over on this side. We don't really have anything sorted, so we're gonna put some headbutters down here, and what about the other side? We don't have too many units over here, so let's, oops. That's right, gotta press the button. We're gonna put some headbutters over there as well, and for one final thing, we'll do one more long ship for good luck right in the middle over here. So there we go. This could be a pretty interesting battle. This is gonna be a big battle too. I wanna see kinda how these guys figure this out. So they have to turn. Looks like turning. Oh god, don't 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 tip the damn ship. What the heck is going on here, guys? Alright, well, obviously the war's already starting, so we'll have to uh focus on that instead. We have a lot of archers here, as you can see. Obviously, the one thing I would really like to see with a mod like this is having the option to keep the unit stationary because that's one thing that Tabs definitely needs, I think, especially with the archers, is having stationary units would be really, really cool. Looks like the king is coming down, and look at the priest working with the king. He's going to make his way down here. Looks like the Vikings have taken out the defenders at the front, and they are moving in, so this is going to be a really interesting fight down here. Valkyrie are taking out these guys over here, and we got the first... First warship coming in. Thankfully, it didn't team kill too much, so we're good with that. Oh, this is going to be a good fight here, though. We got the big king, the knights. This is where the kingdom might come back. It's looking like the Vikings do have the upper hand right now, that's for sure. How are we doing over here? Oh, this is so cool. I love having the option to put units wherever you want, because now you get really interesting battles that are a little bit different. Uh, Valkyrie, man, they are taking them down. I'm not seeing too much of the kingdom left. We got some guys stuck over here. Oh, there was four. Now there's two, so they are making their way over. And up top, there's nothing left. So the Valkyries are doing really good over here, keeping these guys busy. And we still have all our warships as well. 
This is obviously going to go to the Vikings here. I didn't expect adding that little bit of gold to increase their damage output that much. It could have just been bad strategy on the kingdom's part as well, though. We got Jarl versus the king over here. The two kings. Is Jarl going to take him down? Got to get those priests down, man, because he's going to stay up for a long time with those priests. Was that green? The sword. Why is the sword green? I've never seen that. Okay, we definitely got to watch in slow motion. This is a too big of a battle to not use slow motion. I don't know why the heck this sword is green. That's really tripping me out. I don't think his sword was ever green, unless I'm crazy and missed that somehow. All right, King is still up. His priests are down. We got Orbros over here, and we know how disastrous Orbros can be. Oh, come on, King. You can do it, buddy. I don't think you got much of a kingdom left. It's just you. But you're doing your best. Is there anything else? We we still got ships coming in being thrown. Oh, yeah. I think it's down to the king. And you know what? That's kind of great, though. The fallen kingdom is indeed here. Is he dead? Okay, yeah. He's definitely dead. So there's got to be someone left. What's going on over here? Oh, they did hold out over here. The Sarissas. Actually, the defenders. We did have some Sarissas here, but they're dead. Uh, so it looks like these are the final few. We got Frost Searchers. Did you just hit your buddy? Wow. What a douche. Who did that? I don't even know who did that. Oh, uh, Orbros have come in, and I think it's going to be GG now that they're here. Just wait for that ore to lay the smack down, quite literally. Uh, what do we got? Whoa, what's going on back here? Okay, we got a little crevice of uh, battle going on. That's great. There's a, there's a living in the dead pile, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm going to give them a second to see if they get the win, but obviously the Vikings won it. But just, it was actually a really good battle, as you can see by the battlefield. Uh, both sides had major losses. Okay, and another battle that I've always wanted to try is using this as basically a last stand for a kingdom. So we have the ancient and medieval factions once again working together. Please ignore the walking zombie blue things. Those are ice archers, but <laughs> they dropped their bows, and clearly this mod has broken the ice archers. So they're just going to keep walking, and I hope they just walk <laughs> The edge of the map. We're not even playing right now, and they're still moving. I don't know how that's working. Maybe they'll get the upper hand now that they're in the kingdom. But yes, medieval and ancients are fortified in this final stand here, and we have the dynasty this time attacking. And uh, of course, we got samurai in the front, monks, all that fun stuff. We got the monkey king in the back with his watchas. Now, ninjas being the ninji bastards that they are. Uh, they're over on the high ground over here. I want to see if they'll actually jump down and get inside, because that could be pretty interesting. And yeah, I think this should be a pretty good fight. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we have some well-defense fronts here. Oh, God. Oh, the Minotaurs. Okay, the Minotaurs are attacking the false ice archers. They should be dealt with rather quickly, though. How are we doing on the front lines? This is where it's going to make or break whatever kingdom. Whatever wins this. Oh, God. Watch us. Watch us. Your whole team is right here. What are you doing? Oh my god, now they're burning them! Wow, the, the Dynasty do not have a very strategic plan right now. <laughs> it's for sure. Okay, maybe we have to change this a little bit because that's just... I don't think the Dynasty's gonna win now. If they do win, that'll be surprising. Now, the Ninjas, they seem to just be going for a stroll for a walk, so that's good. And we have the uh, Archers over here that were shooting the Ninjas. This guy's gonna die. Good Goodbye, good sir. <laughs> oh man, I really wish we could keep these things stable in place. I think, actually, the Dynasty, though, unless we can deal with that dragon, they might still win this thing, even though they killed their whole team. I mean, it's all good. What's going on down here? Are you guys just dragging bodies? Pretty much. Oh, God, are you okay? Oh, here comes another line of arrows. Oh, by the way, we had catapults. They didn't seem to do much at all. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the Watchas are just going to destroy everything, I think, unless we can get out there. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's a pretty damn big pile up now, isn't it? Okay, I don't even know who's winning, if I'm honest. There's not much left. Oh, we still got a catapult here. All right, catapult, do your thing, man. Because you can probably kill the majority of these guys right now. We still have some knights down. The king is, of course, down. Where's the monkey king? Oh, there he is right there, staring at the wall. Great, good job, buddy. Oh, here comes the watchas again. They're coming way too close for comfort. Monkey king has jumped in. He's riding his dragon right now. And uh, I think he might be the final guy here. Oh, God. Catapult. Did you just kill yourself? <laughs> oh, you okay there? It's still good. All right. Uh, man, this is actually going to be pretty close. I'm looking around for movement. The the knights. Oh, well, we still got a lot of guys right here. It's hard to tell because they're in the dead bodies. There is still a lot going on here, though. 
King's taking the front lines here. We still got a lot of movement under here. There's just people buried in the dead bodies. Looks like that monk might still be alive as well. Oh, God! Not the king! Right in the neck, king! Oh, he's still good. He's still good. How are you? Oh, there he goes. He's dead. <laughs> there goes our king. Can the kingdom still survive without him? We'll see. I think the dynasty might have it here. Wait, why do we have a, a blue dynasty? Wait, why, why do we have a red dynasty? I'm very confused. I must have accidentally spawned a red dynasty. All right, well, he he, he was just our uh, our secret member. Seriously, this red monk is just MVP. He's just hanging out with his buddies, and he still somehow hasn't died. Look at that hit. Jesus. Okay, well, we needed that spy. Oh, God, did my game crash? What the hell was that noise? Okay. Well, now we're never going to know who won. All right, so I guess we'll never get to know who won that battle, but if you have any suggestions for this mod, let me know in the comments below because I think this is going to add quite a bit to this game because now you can basically place units wherever you want and that's going to change the battles quite immensely. Anyways, we're back with the challenge campaign right now and this one's called Rivaling Kings. We have two kings working together and we got to take both of these teams down, so yeah. Very similar here. We got bards over here for some reason. Actually, that's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. We're going to go to the farmer faction and get some halflings to keep these guys busy in the front. I want to keep them, obviously, as busy for as long as possible. I don't know if this is going to go well. We got to defeat kings, which is going to be fun. But if we get some lucky shots with these catapults, it might actually work out. All right. Oh, don't, don't run over your teammates. Okay, we're good. And did that king go down? No, he is indeed still up. It's actually going okay right now, though. Uh, we gotta get this king down. Come on, little hobbit, you can do it. Little halfling, that is. Ooh, and the catapult goes down and did not kill the king. So, yeah, we, we're gonna have to get some crazy damage output if we wanna kill these guys. And, yeah, they, did, they actually take catapults to the face, no problem at all. Let's see how farmers and one halfling can do. We got potion sellers in the back. I think this will do well. I decided to go for the javelins so we can hopefully do do some more direct damage instead of the catapults, which do um, more splash damage. And, of course, a scarecrow uh, because that should keep these guys really, really busy. we got to confuse the hell out of them. i got to get those javs to actually hit the kings, though. That's what I'm hoping for. Come on, man. Lock it up. You can do it. Scarecrow's a little bit too close for comfort. Keep backing up, buddy. Yeah. Get. Oh, we got one. Did you see that? The javelin actually did work. Oh, I don't know if we have the damage output to take out all these archers, though. That's one thing I didn't think about. Come on, boy. You can do it. Don't hit the Scarecrow. Did he just... Did... Wow. Okay, he did the thing I, I asked him not to. Damn it! Oh, is it going... Wait, wait is he dead? Oh, he's got to be dead. I, I don't even see him anymore. I think we're good. Yes, confuse those archers. Get that Scarecrow in there. Scarecrow, don't bot die, buddy. There we go. And he died right after he threw his crows out. But I think we're good. We got it. Couple more archers left. Actually, we only got a couple archers left, too. This is extremely close. I think the javelin's gonna do it for us, though. And there goes one. Oh, wow. This is way closer than I expected. Confuse him. Oh, and of course, he dropped down and missed the archer shot. There. Oh, you are so lucky. All right. He's still dead, but the javelin somehow missed. All right. That was a really good fight. All right, big battle. The tribals are back. Now, is there some secret units back here? I always want to check just in case. No, they actually, it's not as big as I thought it would be, considering it's called big battle. Uh, we're still going to have to deal with a lot of damage output, and we got to deal with mammoths. So, again, I'm thinking the javelin. Let's keep going with it. It was lucky. I keep calling it a javelin. It's a ballista. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I get things confused sometimes. All right, so we're going to use... One ballista. I don't want to go crazier than that. Hopefully that can take out the mammoths because that's what it's really made for. I'm thinking with this, because we got to deal with those mammoths, we got to do strength and numbers and spread out. Uh, I think that will work rather well. And we'll see what happens here. This is going to be pretty interesting. The Valkyrie are going to obviously shake things up quite a bit. It's looking good so far. Valkyrie are doing great. Wow. Okay. I think I found the mammoths. That was amazing. I found the mammoth's weakness, man. It's Valkyries. They can just get on the top of them. And we know how strong their weapons are when we did the uh, weapon tournament. It was, I think, the second place it was the Valkyrie sword. So they're extremely dangerous if they can connect. And that was extremely easy. That's weird at the end of the challenge campaign. Okay, more S-swords. Wait, what? More S-words. S? 
What? And catapults. I, I I don't get the S reference, but hey, we got uh, four catapults to deal with and some simple squires. So I'm thinking with this, again, Valkyrie might be the option. We need something fast that can get in there. Actually, let's try something else, though. One we haven't seen much of, which is the Minotaur. Let's give the Minotaur a chance here. We're going to do... Should we do just... Oh, I can actually only do one of those. So I guess we're going to have to keep these guys busy in the front. I'm actually going to use a few squires as well. Again, we want to spread these out because the catapults are going to be rough to deal with. See, the problem with the Minotaur is it's so expensive. Oh, man, Minotaur. I was really hoping you go for the catapults. Keeping these guys busy, but you're going to die in a second. You are definitely going to die in a second. Oh, get out of the way of the Minotaur. All right, and he is dead. All we have is archers left. That definitely didn't go as planned. And this is uh, going to end really quickly here. One archer left. Okay, we're just going to go back and not see my demise. All right, I can almost guarantee Valkyrie have this. So we're going to try for the Valkyrie here and just see what happens. There we go. Charging in. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> As I was saying, Valkyrie hopefully have this. Now. Oh, God. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Why are you so slow? All right, there we go. We just got to get these guys down as quickly as possible. They're not killing them as quick as I thought. Oh, God. Oh, God. Bob and Weave, guys. There we go. Get them. Get them. Get them. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that's how it was supposed to go. What are you doing over here, little squire? <laughs> so, yeah, don't bunch up your Valkyries if you're fighting catapults, I guess. That's not the smartest idea. Uh, spreading them out totally changed the outcome, as you can clearly see. All right, guys, and on that, we're going to wrap up this episode of Tabs here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out a really cool, unique mod that just came out. And, uh, yeah, nearing the end of the challenge campaign, maybe one day we'll get there. What the hell is this little thing? Is that, oh, it's a chicken. Okay, it's just stuck in the actual tree. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you do want to download the mod for yourself, link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.